improvisation morning. We're making biscuits. Ready? We're going to show you how. We're using a recipe up oh, called JP's Big Daddy Biscuits on allrecipes.com. We will link it down below. Aiden is helping me. We are making a double batch. So he's going to put how much for the ASMR flower jumping video. All right, so he's putting four yes. cups of flour into our bowl. Fun fact, I saw this bowl at our local, um, I don't know what to call it, Affordables is what it's called. Uh, and they hadn't even put a price tag on it yet. And I was like, please, let me know how much it is. I want it. So I absolutely love stoneware bowls. And so I got it. So anyway, he's doing four cups of flour. Then they're done that. Uh, the recipe calls for a shortening. I chose to use butter. And what I do is a stick of butter per recipe or per batch. So I have two sticks of butter that I finally cubed in the freezer for a few minutes because we want this to be nice and cold. All right. So, excuse the clutter here. Hello, it's a real working kitchen. We got sourdough going on. Here we got measuring spoons and cups going on. The soup and tea. Slow going cooker, on. canner tea. Hey, it is, it, it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna actually get into it. And then, you know, we got our winter gear out of storage, so that's all in our eh, dining room. All right, I'm gonna stop. What's up, guys? We're back at it again with another epic gaming video. Wait, this is a gaming, never mind. What are you dumping in, Aiden? Baking powder. How much of baking powder for a double a batch? Four tablespoons. Or two, no, two tablespoons. Yes. Lasagna. And we also have our oven preheated to 425 degrees. Make sure your oven is hot before you start mixing these biscuits. 100 likes and I'll eat a tablespoon of baking powder. Please don't. <laughs> Man, he said 100 likes. I'd say 1,000. Ugh, has anybody ever tasted baking powder? That stuff's gross. I have. Okay, next we need two teaspoons of the salt. I have the teaspoon right here. And I have the salt right here. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Salt. Look at the biscuit. A salt right Don't mind the grain people. Uno, dos. That's it. That's it. You don't add too much salt. I add two teaspoons. Alright, what's next, thing? I don't know. Uh, uh, sugar. Tablespoon. How many tablespoons? Uh, so the recipe calls for two, a tablespoon per batch. We're adding a little bit more. We're adding three tablespoons of sugar. Diabetes special sugar bowl is right here. Here's your sugar bowl. Thank you. Uh, That's the nicest thing you said all day. Okay. It's more. It's not in the bowl. It's more of a cup. Here, I gotta. I gotta get this beautiful, beautiful guy. Up. There we go. Hey. Oh, oh, this thing is broken. So how many tablespoons of sugar you got now? Two. And then one more for good measure. And again, that's not the original recipe. That's my modification. Uh, should it be more Three. like half? No. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Just trust me. Trust you. We're using salty butter instead of shortening has no salt to it. So oh. that would make a bit of a difference. So oh. adding a little bit of extra oh. sugar. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now what? Okay. Next thing you're going to do is... Two mix. cups of milk. Nope, you're gonna mix the dry ingredients together. Oh. Here, mix a mixer. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Izzy, shut up. This video is not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Alright, so. He's mixing up our dry ingredients. I have a butter, two beautiful sticks of butter. I used salted. If you use unsalted, you wouldn't have so much sugar. Uh, I just kicked Christopher out because he's being his normal Christopher self. Yeah, he, accident he accidentally bumped it by going boop. <laughs> okay, so that's all mixed up. Now, you, listen, I'm going to start cutting in the butter. You get two cups of milk. You're a cup of milk. Get the two cup measure and get some milk. I don't need a whisk. Two cup measure. Okay, you can cut in your butter several ways. I do it the old fashioned way with the tools God gave me, my hands. So they're nice, you can hear they're kind of nice and crispy. Mm, crispy yeah. butter. Crunchy. So what I do is I just rub, I don't know if you can see, you know, this whole camera thing is like, I rub, rub a dub dub the rub butter -dub 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 into beep -beep. the flour. And I'm gonna do that until it's roughly pea-sized. California. Maybe a little bit bigger. 
It's very important with biscuits. Biscuits and scones are like my jam. I love these things. So a biscuit, a biscuit and a scone are very similar things. Izzy, would you go flip the bacon, please? We're also cooking bacon right now in a pan. And I normally do it in the oven. Milk in a pan, time? you have to babysit a lot. Nope, not milk time yet. Mm -hmm. Patience, young Claude Huffer. What? So anyway, we keep cutting in the butter. It's important mm -hmm. to have cold ingredients so that you get nice, flaky biscuits. So they're very, very simple, but a lot of people find that their biscuits turn out yucky, and it's not because they've they've measured their ingredients wrong or anything. I mean, there are lots of things that could go wrong, like your baking powder's too old, or you, know, you add too much liquid, too little liquid. But overall, the biggest reason people get hockey pucks for biscuits is because they overwork the dough, and that's the same thing for scones. You just don't want you don't want to like violate that dough you know you're being gentle here it's like a little newborn babe you got to you got to treat it right and if you treat it right you'll be rewarded with big plump fluffy biscuits that's not how babies work so what have we been doing on the farm here these past few weeks cuddling cats cuddling cats butchering what else chickens. butchering chickens what else what do i make Cows. what do i make you do every day cow bottles cow bottles but what else chicken feed and Clean, clean, clean. We're getting water. We're getting the homestead ready for winter, and that means that everything from outside has to be picked up and put inside, put away where it's safe. Um, Izzy, I think you should check on the bacon again. At this point, it can burn really fast, so if it looks like it's done, start getting it out. Mama mia. We're gonna make some breakfast biscuits, even though it's like breakfast. closer to lunchtime. We kind of had a slow start, and it was quite pleasant. All right, so I feel like this is about there because I'm going to be doing a method that's going to fold in the butter even more. I don't know if you can see this here. See how there's like chunks of butter? So that's what we want. All right, Aiden, come hither, young man. I'm not a man. So now what we're going to do is I'm not going to add the full two cups at once. I'm going to add one cup because I know it needs at least that much. And then for the second cup, I normally add a little bit less than the full. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. And then I'm just gently, see how I'm like gently stirring? There we go, gently stirring, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gently, gently, gently. Here, let me bring this down. I know my cinematography could use some work. It is what it is. All right, so I'm just gently doing this. Notice how I'm like, not like stirring the biscuits. You don't want to stir the biscuits. You just want to want to lovingly move the flour around now how do i know when my biscuit dough is hydrated enough aiden has left the building oh aiden's coming back no, i cool pete is here now i uh do it until there's no visible dry stuff on the bottom what? and i don't know it's just a feel thing like when you've been making biscuits you put for, in two cups i actually um right now i'm doing a splish method so splish. i'm just the splish method yeah splish until I think it looks good. And honestly, if these are a little on the soft side, that's okay. I'm I'm happy with this. Like this is probably what would be considered a little bit more on the moist side. So it's me cool. See how it's all together and you don't see like flower hunks in the bottom. This is the way you want it. Now this next step, this is called a Lefsa board or a Kringla board. And if you're Norwegian, odds are you've probably made Kringla or Lefsa. If you're not, welcome. It is a a board with a cloth on it and it makes like rolling out Kringle and Lefse easy and I am going to be showing you guys how to do that because it is the holidays and for those of you who are Norwegian hey maybe you want a new recipe and for those of you who are maybe you want to try it I will tell you it's a lot of fun all right so I put plenty and you could do this on your countertop you could put a pillowcase on the cutting board you could do lots of different ways this is what I have and so this is what I'll use so I'm turning out my dough onto the left support. Aiden is putting the bowl in the sink gently. Actually, it's cool pee. Cool pee, whoever. <laughs> okay, so dry erase marker. I pat this out gently and with generously floured hands. And then I, Aiden, could you stop this and then I have you hold it at a different angle? So go ahead and stop it. All right. Are we rolling film, Aiden? Yes, girly. Okay, so what I do is I fold it in thirds. So I fold the dough up like this, pat it, fold it like this, pat it. Flour as needed, because you can see there's some wet spots. I'm gonna do this a total of probably seven or eight times. So that was one, two, 
Uh, Turn. It, it did the little power mode thing. Three. You see, you see biscuit recipes that tell you to knead it. Don't knead it. It's not bread. It's you a biscuit. Don't it. Four. Folds. Business letter folds, they're called. <clears throat> Five. Business letter folds. And I'm kind of feeling the dough as I go here. I don't want it like super elastic, but I want it cohesive. There's six business letter folds and seven. And I think that looks really good. Now, on, Aiden, could you bring the camera closer here? So now you can see I push it out and I want it to be about three quarters to an inch thick. And what I want you to note is look how our butter is distributed throughout this dough. Butter distributed through dough equals flaky. So these are going to be quite delicious. Izzy, they're not cookies. Put away those cookie cutters. Aww. All right, so we got that all done. Biscuits. Izzy, I need a large biscuit cutter, please. Biscuit. So this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, now I'm dipping my cutter in flour. And for this part, you just go straight down and a little bit of a twist. Nothing fancy, don't go crazy. See, look at all that butter in there. It's already flaky. I'm not gonna put these touching, you can, and they'll grow taller, but I'm not worried about that too much. Izzy is, Izzy is motioning that she wants me to hand her the biscuits, so I guess that's what we're doing here. Okay, and then we just keep doing this. Getting as close to the edge as you can, you wanna get as many biscuits as you can on the first cutting. I will refold this and recut it as needed. But that first cutting is always going to be the most tender. And then Izzy asked me for a pumpkin biscuit. I'm not exactly sure. Not this morning. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. But it might we'll not see. be tall enough. Yeah. Oh. Maybe Izzy should be wearing the apron and not cool Pete. There we go. Oh. Izzy's biscuit. It's out. my apron. Anyway. Hey, you got them too far yeah. apart. We're going to have more biscuits coming it's in. It's actually my apron because I'm cool, Pete. All right. There we go. Okay. Can so I'm just keep cutting. Actually, I'm mouse banjo. That's my apron. And then I'm what I do? Jeff. It's not cool, Pete. Yes, I no, just simply shit. gently. You're always gentle with this process. I think that's something else. A lot of people just manhandle their biscuits. You can't do that. Or scones, and then they complain they don't like them. It's not that they're bad, it's the technique was bad. You gotta respect the biscuits. Man. You gotta respect the biscuits, that's right. So, I'm gonna press it out again. Don't worry about them being super pretty. It's the flavor that counts. So, you know, we don't, we don't need to be all bougie here. Um, and we could just call them artisan. The more ugly they are, we'll just call them artisan. Everybody loves it. bacon taste undercooked to you. I think uh, that I'm trying to do biscuits right now, and you can figure that out on your own. So. The second round, I'm actually just going to leave the scraps. I, I think the bacon's fine. It was just extra thick. I bought ends in pieces because I'm a cheapskate and, and I didn't want to spend a ton of money. All right, so here's our pan of biscuits. These are going to bake at 425 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. They'll get really tall, possibly kind of weird looking, and that just makes them more delicious. Now, some people do this, some don't. You can take a floured finger and put a little dent in the top of each biscuit. I haven't found it makes much difference in growth, but whatever, it's fun. You get to poke dough, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, these go in, and we'll show you what they look like when we come back. All right, here they are. You can see there's plenty of butter. That's okay. Magnus wants one. See how nice it looks? It got nice and tall. Let me see if I can open this with one hand. I don't know. Ooh, that's one hot biscuit. Soft, flaky, buttery. And this is just about to be full of some egg and bacon. Ooh, this one here is a good example. Yum. Nice layers, super easy. You don't need to be afraid of making biscuits. They're one of the easiest things in the world to make. They taste good, they fill tummies, they make people happy. So there you have it. Thank you for joining us for making some biscuits today. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Hey, lady, what do you think of that biscuit? Pumpkin. Outstanding. Shake. Hey, what are you having on your biscuit? Uh, 
Eggs and bacon. Are biscuits your favorite? Not quite. What's your favorite? Uh, you'll never know. Oh, typical teenager. Typical. All right, yeah, this is delicious.